Hey everyone, it's me, Andrew, here for a doll review. Um, I haven't done one of these for a while, uh, mainly just because I haven't seen anything that I really liked. Um, Monster High wise, it's a Monster High doll. Um, yeah, I sold a whole bunch of like my Monster High dolls around Christmas time and there just hasn't really been anything since like summer that I've seen that I've like really liked or that I really want to justify spending that much money on just like a Playline doll. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll show, I'll do something different in this video. I'll show myself opening up the box. So I'll do like a close up and then I'll hold the doll and you won't see me when, I, when I'm talking, kind of like my last video, just because I find that it's like a little bit easier for you guys to see the detail. So, um, yeah, um, excuse my hands, I they're all cracked and everything because of bleach at work and stuff and like shampooing continuously. Um, yeah, I went on like a big shopping trip yesterday and I bought a whole bunch of stuff, one of them being this doll, and I bought... Um, lipstick from MAC St. Germain which is like my favorite color of theirs ever so I'm planning on doing um, a makeup tutorial for like a Barbie look um, next week when I'm off work for a little bit I'm gonna go away uh, for a couple weeks in the summer so that'll be fun I'm looking really forward to that I'm gonna start doing the nails for it too so um, I'm happy that it's summer right now too sorry I'm just like rambling I feel like talking um, my friend from jewelry school is coming out for a week next week so we get to visit and all my summer shows are back on dance moms and pretty little liars which i loved the season premiere of that and dance moms is always good and they really like kicked it up a notch this season too so um with all of that um we'll just get right into the review and the box opening and i'll just kind of it'll be kind of like a first impressions like review Thing. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys like the new format of this video. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at um, Unicorn's Heart, and I update on that basically once a day, or at the least once a day. I usually sometimes do like two or three posts a day, and I always do Throwback Thursday, <laughs> and um, also on uh, Facebook. Uh, facebook.com slash blithekid and that's where you'll see like when I post like new information about videos upcoming videos and stuff so um, yeah um, let's get right into it all right so here is the doll it's um, 13 wishes Claudine Wolf um, I had just seen on Sugar Shug's blog that they were re like released yesterday, so I was at the mall and amazingly our Toys R Us had them, which doesn't happen very often, especially with like Canadian and American release dates. They usually like come out after the states, or sometimes we can't even find them for like a couple months. So yeah, she was really pretty. Um, I like the detailing of her. That's why I bought her. Um, the other two dolls were really pretty too. Um, the Toys R Us also had um, like the VIM dolls, which were um, super cute. I was gonna buy them, but I couldn't justify spending twenty nine ninety nine on like a basic doll that didn't come with anything else, and their outfit was very very basic, and the shoes were recycled. So I couldn't spend that much. This doll was um, thirty nine ninety nine, which I think is outrageous, but I really liked it, and. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I like the doll a lot, and I haven't liked a Monster High doll in quite a while. So, um, I spent the money and I got it, and I really like her. Um, I just think that the prices are kind of outrageous now for this doll. Like, I would consider this, m like, a deluxe doll, but, um, when Monster High first came out, the deluxe dolls used to come with, like, another outfit. So, yeah. Um, the, the artwork in the box is really pretty very like ornate there's like a whole bunch of scorpions and then that's kind of creepy and then there's like pillows and it says haunt the casbah and then there's like the dvd that's coming out i guess and yeah and her box art of her the box art of this doll on the vim dolls was like absolutely gorgeous i love the art for claudine i think that claudine is probably the best styled doll out of 
all of them. I think that she always has like the best hair and the best makeup and the best clothing. So that's her. So I'm gonna open her. Oh. Uh, this is the back of the box. So that's what they look like. And then there's like a big write up. You can pause on that if you wanna read it. Um, yeah, the dolls were very pretty. Like I, I wanted to buy this one. Her headpiece was really nice but I still think that she was the best one. So um, I'm just gonna come back in a couple seconds after I've opened most of the doll box. So that part was fairly easy. Um, surprises is that they have new stands, which I really like. They are the straddle ones, so they just kind of like sit in between their legs and new bases, which will be interesting to see how they work with this doll. Um, I do like these types of bases. These, they used to have these for my scene dolls. Um, all right, so, um, I got the doll out of the box. It was actually pretty easy. They've improved a lot with, like, packaging and stuff. It's basically you just have to, like, cut a couple things and the doll comes out. I still hate that they have those three things in the back of the head that come through. I cut a little piece of her hair, which you know, it's that's kind of annoying, but I guess maybe they do it so people can't, like, buy them and return them. I don't know. Anyways, so, um, yeah, that's her out of the box. Um, she's on the new stand, which I really like. It's smaller, it's more compact, she's just kind of, it's in there, it doesn't, like, bulk up the clothing or anything, it just goes right there. Uh, she came with this, which I'm guessing is, like, magic lamp or something, I don't know, I'll probably just throw it out. It's made out of like um, so like a hard plastic, it's kind of like that jelly stuff. And then she also came with this like card, trading card, I guess. There's a picture of all of them on the back with the genie. And yeah, that's that. And of course, the Monster High comb. Uh, um, yeah. I took a whole bunch of pictures, so they're going to be up on Instagram probably by the time this goes up. And I'll probably do like more stuff with this doll because she's really pretty and she's really easy to photograph, I think. So uh, we'll start at the top. Um, she has this beautiful like honey blonde hair and there's tinsel in it. It's gold tinsel, not like the clear tinsel with gold in it. It's actually like the gold tinsel. So you can kind of see that in you know, my hands. Sorry. And then she has this earring, which is kind of like the lamp, but she still has like the piercing holes on this ear too, but none of the dolls had earrings on their other ears, so I'm guessing that it's just like a factory thing. Um, she has this headband, which isn't attached, it's just like, um, has the elastic bands on it, and it kind of has like a zipper detailing almost, and then that on the side. See the those parts, they kind of look like zipper, like the zipper poles. Then she has, which is, um, or blah, 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 blah. she has uh, purple, dark purple peekaboos, and this twist part, which I'm not like super crazy about, but it's okay, I guess. I think I might take it out. And um, this is her dress. It's actually like two pieces. This is like a mini dress with the halter top with uh, the mesh up here, and then it ties in the back, and this is Velcro. And then this part is, um, there's Velcro underneath this, which is just like, kind of clips on this belt. <laughs> Very Gucci inspired, I would say. Maybe a little bit of Versace. The whole thing is kind of Roberto Cavalli with like the flowiness of it, um, I would say. Um, then there's the black, mini dress, which has a moon print all over it, which is very pretty, like that, and it goes into this, like, half skirt ordeal, <laughs> which <laughs> has this, like, sheer part, and then there's, um, this pattern on it, which is, like, that, it looks like zipper teeth to me, yep, it is zippers, I don't know, does that have anything to do with, uh, the movie, I don't know. I don't know if it has something to do with, like, the web series either, and moons. And then it has this, um, pretty leopard print underneath. It looks like the fabric is gray and black, and then there is this black netting on the inside with, um, 
I'd say silver, but there is a little bit of gold in it, so it's more of like a champagne colored um, glitter detail over some of the, the netting. And then of course her legs and her shoes, which at first I actually thought this was ribbon. Let's see if it focuses. I need to get a new camera, you guys. Uh, comment below and tell me which camera I should get. I have no idea. So there are these um, platform wedges and uh, with a gold heel and platform and then kind of like this purple thing which is slightly translucent. Um, so those are really pretty. My camera is about to die. So that is Claudine Wolf. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it and I will see you guys soon. Um, I would say definitely check out this doll if you get them in the stock at your store. And uh, tell me what you think of the price points. Don't you, if you guys think that they're like overpriced, if it's just me getting old and crotchety. Um, anyways, let me know. Remember to follow me on Instagram. More pictures will be up on there and Facebook. And comment, rate, subscribe. Okay, bye guys.